big question today, the commute, especially if you are, are a New Jersey Transit writer. Uh, NJ Transit warned that crew availability and equipment may impact service today after yesterday's problems. Those problems yesterday, of course, had <laughs> nothing <laughs> to do with separate. the weather. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, Reagan Meggie has been live in Newark all morning speaking with frustrated commuters. Reagan, what is the situation now? Well, I think I'm going to provide a sunny spot to the report this morning so far. Uh, right now, we have no delays, and it, th it looks like things are moving rather smoothly. The transit police have told me that by 4 o'clock this morning, everything seemed to be back on track, so to speak. Stepping out of the way, you can see the board and everything, the status in 10 minutes, uh, 7, 14 minutes through not only Amtrak, but also the New Jersey Transit. So it looks like everything is on time for now. Let's take a look at some video we shot earlier shortly. Um, just this morning, just with people going in, things running smoothly. The board, even then, hours before, showing trains on time. No delays, cancellations, no crowds waiting, which is a drastically improved scene compared to last night. Shortly after 5 o'clock is when all the trouble started. Amtrak's overhead power lines came down, blocking the tracks between Newark and New York in Kearney, near replacement work of the 114 year old Portal Bridge. This all resulted in Amtrak and New Jersey Transit train service being halted. One of our ABC 7 colleagues was actually stuck on an Amtrak train at that time and told us the conductor got on the loudspeaker to say, quote, it's going to be a while. And indeed it was. Four and a half hours later, by 9.30 last night, some trains started moving again. Now we spoke with commuters this morning who were still recovering from the transit headaches after last night. I couldn't take New Jersey Transit from 34th Street. I had to take the PATH train, but then the PATH train was stuck at Harrison Street due to overcrowding here, and the buses were not working. They started moving buses to be shuttle buses at um, all of the PATH stations, so I ended up having to take the light rail all the way to Park Avenue and then a bus from there just to get home. It was about a two and a half hour commute. And when it, should it be usually? It's normally like 40, 45 minutes. So far no delays and hopefully everything's good. I am very early for my train so we'll see but uh, yesterday my husband coming home uh, from the city everybody on NG Transit was of course coming across to the path and the path system's not really designed for that. Okay, so we're looking right now, right as I'm speaking, my sunny spot has now gotten a little cloudy because we have delays, not only uh, Amtrak Regional Boston to New York, but also the Amtrak, which is going uh, discharge only to New York. So that's the Acela Express. Those are both delayed. Now, transit police also have told me that these delays are typical. They're not out of the ordinary when they do pop up, but the thing that we're going to be looking for is the consistent delays or if cancellations because of yesterday, we had all those delay problems and we had service, uh, dis, uh, crews, and also equipment discharged and dispersed, so that could end up being residual delays later on today, and of course the weather isn't helping at all. But for now, smooth sailing at Newark Penn Station here in New Jersey. We're live, Reagan Medjay, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.